so here's kind of uh, what what's going on in here. Um, as you can see, our our countertop is just a mess and it's very messy. And then we have been working with like this cart thing, um, but I don't know. It's not working so well for us anymore. So it's mostly just overflow and stuff that we don't use that I think we can downsize or put elsewhere. So yeah, this is our bathroom. As you can see, these drawers don't work. Um, and this is under the cabinets, um, which isn't too bad, but it could definitely be better and I think it will be better. So what I am going to do now is just uh, clean everything out uh, and wipe everything down and start fresh and hopefully uh, get this not to be as just awful as it is. Hey guys, we're on our way to like Target and the dollar store right now to see what we can find. We're looking for like an over the toilet organizer and some stuff for under the sink. And we'll update you guys with what we find. Hey guys, so we just got back from shopping and it took way longer than we thought it was going to. And we went way over budget. So we're two for two there. We're definitely, when it comes to interior decorating, enthusiastic, but not efficient. Um, but here's kind of what we're working with. I have it all laid out here because I'm a very visual person. Um, and I, like, I'll show you guys more in depth of what I'm using as we go through the process. But yeah, I was hoping to keep it in between the 50 to to $100 range and instead it's, well, we're not gonna talk about the range it's in. This, I might not feel comfortable labeling this an affordable bathroom organization video. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really excited about some of the stuff we have. Uh, we did decide to, in addition to the organizing, uh, do some minor cosmetic stuff, which is part of why we went over budget, because a lot of the stuff we've had in our current bathroom I've had for like the past four years. So, <laughs> all right, let's get to it. Hair in a bun, gonna get stuff done. This is the cart we've been using primarily for like overflow storage and stuff like that. It's just, it's a little rickety. The only place for it was right next to the bathroom uh, bathtub. So anything on here was at risk of getting wet. And I'm excited because I've had this almost all of college and now this year, so five years probably. And I think it's just time to say goodbye. Wheel the trolley on out. Choo choo. So this fishy curtain was like three bucks from TJ Maxx and it lasted like more than two years. So I think that's a really good deal. But sadly, it's just getting worn and it does kind of, it, it does kind of look like it was $3 from TJ Maxx. So I think it's time to say goodbye to Fish Curtain. I'm so, I'm so fucking short, you guys. Time for Fish Curtain to go sleep with the fish. off and we're gonna clean 
taken out under the sink. This is actually a little bit more organized here. So not quite as traumatic. I'm pretty much just removing everything first and then I'm gonna worry about organizing it and how to set it up. One really nice piece of organization I already have though is this thing, which I use to hold um, way too much makeup and not enough skincare. But we love him. He served us well, and I hope I can incorporate him into this uh, new bathroom style because it is a very functional piece. It's maybe not beautiful, but I I don't know. I don't know if everything needs to be beautiful. Sometimes I just want something that's gonna work for me. So this is weirdly like one of my favorite things that we got. It's an easy liner. I think we picked it up from Walmart. It's just like five bucks, but you put it on like in drawers and cabinets and stuff and it essentially just keeps staining and things like that. And since we rent, uh, this is a really good way to make sure that if anything gooky happens, um, it doesn't cause too much damage. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this under the sink now. So it's got kind of a tacky bottom, which is nice. This is not a product review. This is not sponsored in any way. I'm just a really big nut for things that save me work later because I'm lazy. I'm so lazy, you guys. So it's not exactly a perfect fit, but the nice thing is that we, you can trim these to whatever space you need. So I'm gonna go mark the spots that are too big so that we can trim it down and it'll fit in there really nicely. All right, so I've trimmed it to fit. It's not perfect, but I mean, it's going under the cabinet in my bathroom, so it really doesn't need to be. And the nice thing is we still have like more than half of this stuff left, so if we want to use it someplace else, more bang for our buck, you know? So yeah, it fits under there so nicely. It actually looks really cute. And again, it doesn't, it doesn't need to, but it's nice that it does. Here, let me show you guys. Yeah, so here's what it looks like. It's, I mean, it's a little dark because it's under the sink, but it's in real nice. It's easy to rub out the bubbles. Um, it's tacky, but it's also like completely, you can just peel it up and take it out. So that's really nice. I like it. Good job. Good job us. The shampoo and conditioner we use for Kia. This doesn't need to be in the shower full time. It's stuff like this where it's just like, what needs to be in the bathroom? What can we downsize? What can we get rid of? What can we just store elsewhere because we're not using it all that often? So here we have the second thing we got that I am really excited about. It's actually like, um, it goes on the cover and it's for holding your blow dryer, your curling iron, your brushes. I think that's just super smart um, because right now what we were kind of doing for brushes, here, let me get it, was like this thing, which takes up a lot of space and just isn't very efficient. So I'm very excited to be putting that stuff in here. shelf piece which I'm hoping to just be able to put all my skincare on so that it's still really easy and accessible but maybe a little more aesthetically pleasing and gets rid of some of the clutter on the counter. And then from the dollar store we got these two little things. Um, I think I'm gonna use them for like the cotton pads I use uh, with my makeup remover and then for my scrunchies because I've recently become that girl who loves scrunchies. That's a new development with me as well. So despite the fact that I actually have probably like 20 scrunchies, I could only buy two of them uh, besides the one in my hair. So those will go in here and hopefully I can find the rest of the hoard. So here's another thing I got that I really love is it's a stainless steel um, like slide out drawer for under the counter. I think that's going to work really well. We'll see. But I have high high hopes. So Jane just kind of put together the this de resistance 
of our new organization system, which is this kind of above the toilet storage saver. And hopefully this will fit. <laughs> and it does! Yay! <laughs> yeah, it can't be perfectly centered because we have this thing here and we can't remove that. Well, I can do this. Oh yeah, that works too. There are multiple solutions for your problems. Woo! There are many goals and goals. <laughs> well, this is nice. It has wall mounts, but obviously we can't mount it to the wall, but this is also pretty sturdy. We're not putting anything super load-bearing on here. Um, I also think we shouldn't, based on how much it wants to wobble. No. Uh, want me to get a broom? This is a piece, this is a glass bowl with white rocks and lichen in it. Uh, and it uh, will not focus. That's all right. finished product. I love it. I think it's really, really nice. The improved counter organization is a big improvement, I think. This little corner shelf with like my skincare and stuff is great. And then these are just like my makeup essentials that I use pretty much every day. And so it's, it's just nicer to have them right there in grab and reach. And then over here I have my scrunchie jar, yay, scrunchie jar. And then we've got Q-tips and cotton pads. This thing is full of like, lots of stuff. What do we put in? I know my razor's in there. Yeah, it's just full of like makeup wipes and just some things that we want to be easy to reach, but we don't need them on the counter. They're not everyday things. All of my like dry shampoos and hairspray and Jaden's beard oils and stuff are in this cute little basket. And this painting we were hoping to hang up on the wall over here, but we're not allowed to drill holes in because we rent. And we tried to do it with just 3M strips like we've done with a lot of our other artwork. And because it gets so steamy in here, it just fell right off. So now it finds its nice little home right here. And that is how you pivot. Uh, under the sink is also a super fun, great improvement. There's this thing for my brushes and everything that I was so excited about. And it worked great, so huzzah! And I was able to keep um, my like makeup storage thing, which has my palette drawer of many, many tiers of palettes. We're not going to talk about my palette addiction today. And then this cool like drawer that has kind of some lotion, some makeup pads, uh, my brushes that I need to clean, but what can you do? And then there's this real cool thing on top for like my curling pins, ponytails, and bobby pins. 
it's just really easy to grab and then pretty much everything I could want when I'm doing my hair is all in that tray which is super great and then inside the shower we have this thing here which is really nice that it's mesh because then it doesn't get as dirty if it was like steel or plastic and it just holds like shampoo, razor, skin, body, wash stuff. And that's really fun too. It's just very much a really nice balance between being really functional because we have such a small space. We don't have the luxury of clutter and still being, I think, really beautiful and really peaceful. This is my new favorite room in the house. It's kind of the only room we have fully finished and it really makes me want to go out and just finish the rest of the apartment yeah so we redid our bathroom